What's up, guys? It's What's Up Wednesday that is hosted by Lucia at Tiho Creates. And I am, I'll tell you what's up with me. I'm going to try to make another one of these ATC coins, okay? So I thought that I would let you come along with me. Look at that. Organizing here. So I'm going to attempt to do this again and hopefully it'll turn out this time. Um, and then I got some great, great uh, tips from Sheila, Country Girl First, and I got some great tips from Bonnie at Bonnie's Corner about where to look to look them up. And so, and I searched on Pinterest, I found some great ideas. And I'm going to start out with a basic one, but the first thing you need to do is pick your paper. So I picked this color paper. And I also had this one, which was really pretty, but I thought it was kind of busy. So it is pretty. I am going to use it eventually, but for today, we're going to use this. Now, if your cardstock is not super, super heavy, then you should make another backing, and then that will be the back of your um, ATC cards, your ATC coin, okay? So I'm going to tilt the camera down so that you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, so first I'm going to cut my paper in half. Because it won't fit on my big shot. I don't have the huge big shot. Alright, and this is going to be my backing, okay? Sorry, hold on. I had my glue over where I couldn't reach it. Okay, so take my top of my big shot off and I'm gonna lay my paper down here. And I have my nesting dies that are circles. So I'm gonna lay those down. my top on. Here we go. I'm going to move this so you guys can see coming out on the other side. And just to get a nice clean cut, I'm going to go back. take my scissors and salvage this piece down here. I'm going to save it because it's beautiful and there's enough to do something with it. I could make an ATC card or an MDC card or use it on a regular card. Okay, so here are my coins. You see? Just pop right out. my backing, which is this yellow, and with my, now I'm not going to use all these coins today, but why waste this paper, right? So get as many cutouts as you can on this paper. That way we don't waste it and we could use it for a different size uh, coin or for an embellishment or something later. Mine is called a Sizzix, S-I-Z-Z-I-X, Sizzix Big Shot. A lot of you will ask me, and that is what it's called. All right, and there is our backing. Dang it. 
see, that's the trouble sometimes. Oh, see, that one too. Okay. This is real live, folks. It's real live. We're going to put this back in. I think what happened is I started back before it had completely cut it. So hopefully I don't have to make a new one because I might. We'll see. It's making all that noise in the back because it's, uh, I think it was 92 degrees when I came home today, so it's a little warm. I'll take 92 over 112, though, any day. Okay, I'm going to put this off to the side. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do the largest, the largest coin, okay? And I'm going to use my art glitter glue. You can find it at any craft store. You don't need a lot of it. Sometimes I get too much. Okay. And we're going to put this right on top. Like so. That way it makes it a little sturdier. Okay. Then we're going to take the next size. Yep. I'm going to take the next size and glue that as well. Not sure if we're going to use those or not. Put those to the side. Oop. Take the lid off, Patty. <laughs> okay. And here we are the next one okay so like I showed you in the last video I saw an idea on Pinterest where you take one of these little doilies and you put it on the back so that's what we're gonna do so we are going to glue the doily onto the back Good thing with glue instead of tape is that if it's not lined up perfect, because I can't line anything up, and it's still wet and you can move it. And so that is exactly what I just did. Now there is my back of my first one. Okay, now Miss Sheila told me to make sure to use this pop dot, pop dot tape. What it is is it's just a little thicker tape it gives it a second dimension or there's little squares that you can get if you want but what i want to do first i kind of was winging this idea of putting some lace on here going around here and putting some lace like so so I'm gonna do that with the hot glue gun. My little pokey tool there. My grandkids always wanna use my hot glue gun and I always tell them no, because it can literally burn your skin off, especially when you're little like them. Your skin's so precious. Rick's granddaughter's 13 and she showed me that she knew how to use it so I let her use my glue, my glue gun when she was here she was good about it but she's older she's 13 you know Jackson's only 6 and Paisley is 8 and, you know they're little still uh, so I don't let them use the glitter glue the glitter the glue gun sorry you guys Okay, 
I just think this might look, make it look just a little prettier. Okay. Cut our tail off here. We'll cut just a little more for her here. Okay. Use our pokey tool to put it down. All right, okay. So look at how pretty that looks. <laughs> oh, 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 but there's a problem. See, then it becomes, okay, so we are learning as we go. So then it becomes bigger than the bottom one. So I'm gonna set this one off to the side and we are gonna use the next size down. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the next size down. It's all trial and error with me, because I'm not a professional at this. So I don't think I would call this a tutorial. I'd call this a learning 101 with Patty. <laughs> okay. So then we're gonna go like that. I still think that lace might be a little too much. We'll try, we'll try it again and see what happens. So pretty. Maybe I should have, well, I don't know. I don't know, folks. But I'm definitely gonna save this one because it's so pretty. I'm gonna save it and use it for something else. And, you know, maybe do a two dimensional with a different coin with that one. Trial and error, trial and error. Maybe that's why my my subscribers isn't growing. <laughs> you guys, seriously, okay. I've been at 2,500 for months and it'll go up to 2,502 or four or, or seven. And then it goes down, back down to 2,500. I just can't get it to grow. And you know, it's, I don't know why it's bothering me, but it just does. So if, if you're watching me and you're like, that lady's kind of a wackadoodle, well, join the wackadoodle club. Because <laughs> I, 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 just me, I'm real. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I'm not a professional, but we have fun together, right? Right, right, right. Okay. One little tab. A little tab, do you? <clears throat> so, if you're watching me and you're not subscribed to my channel, would you please subscribe? It's free. Okay, here. Um, I don't know. It's borderline, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. Okay, we're gonna put up some of this pop-up tape on here, like so. Okay, I got hot blue gun spider webs. Okay, and then it just peels off, See? peels off, peels off. And then we put that right on top here. <sighs> and there you see where Patty can't line things up. Yeah, well, whatever, okay. We have that. Now, get down. Get down, crazy girl. Um, I don't know which one I want to use. So let's we'll try both of them and see. So I have this beautiful flower from Prima. Sure is pretty, huh? I think we're gonna use it, folks. I think we're gonna use it. And I got an idea here. I'm gonna put it up just a little bit. So I'm gonna put it up. 
me see. Let me see real quick in my stash here. If I have a... So, the question is, should we put a little gem like that one? Or should we put a sticker? Yes. I think we're going to go with the sticker. Sticker wins. I'm going to still put some glue. But I'm going to use this E6000 glue on here so it doesn't melt the plastic. And I never had used this before until Kathy kept using it and using it. I went to Hobby Lobby. Kathy is Kathy from Kathy's Favorite Things. Ooh, and it's, it's got a potent odor. odor. Okay, we're going to put that like that. <laughs> um, but she was always using that E6000. She swears by it. I got it. Now I know why she swears by it. Okay. I'm going to put one little flower down here, right on the tail end of the butterfly, right down here. And here is my latest ATC coin. What do you guys think? You, you still can't really tell it's too layered, but it's a little bit more layered. I think it turned out great. On the back, you could write something to somebody if you wanted. Oh, this did not stick with the E6000. I probably didn't give it a chance to, um, to settle, but I think it turned out kind of cute. I'm going to go back to my hot glue gun. I swear by my hot glue gun for everything, I swear. Because it's not sticking. So, maybe it's just the plastic to that glitter. I don't know. Maybe I didn't give it enough time. But there we go. Okay. I think it turned out pretty cute. And I just have to practice and practice and get more ideas and just play around with it a lot and see what else I can come up with. So I, I think next I'm going to do this one and maybe I won't layer this and see how it turns out, you know. But uh, for today, thank you, Lucia from TO Creates for hosting this wonderful collab of What's Up Wednesday. So that's what's up, folks, my ATC coin. And I hope that you guys all have a great evening and I shall talk to you later. Bye-bye.